Welcome to Vegas Live with Nina. And of course, Heartland Mansion is here. And also, Erwin. Erwin Raymer is here as well. And I've interviewed him before, but I don't know if I've ever interviewed you on Vegas Live with Nina. We had another show going that we were kind of doing, but now you're on. I've been trying to get him on Vegas Live with Nina for a long time. At last I've got, you look so handsome. Look at you, you look absolutely lovely. I could even date him, you know that? Thank you very much. That's beautiful as usual. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Well, all the compliments are flying. But uh, wasn't that wonderful, Linda Hart, to interview her and find out all those little stories? Wasn't that a... That was nice. It was the first time I've ever met her. She oh, was really? It was lovely. the first time I ever met her. I've never, and I never pre-interview my guests. Um, and I haven't even pre-interviewed you. I didn't know what we're going to talk about. But you do have a reality show. That's correct. What's the name of your reality show? Tell me all about this show you're doing. Well, the show is called Tanked. It's the number, number one show on Animal Planet. Okay. We've been in uh, the show uh, for eight seasons. They just hired us actually for season eight, nine, and ten. We're the wow. only show on Animal Planet that actually uh, had 100 episodes. And by the time we get to season ten, it'll be 200 episodes. Oh, how amazing. Did you ever think that this would happen in your life, that you'd actually have your own reality show? And I mean, I think you're on it quite a bit, but not as much as you used to be. Well, I would say it's my reality show. It's my kids' reality show. My son, Brett. Yeah, but without up. you, nothing happens. Believe me, without this man, nothing happens. I'm telling you right now. Well, as my son said, I was the financier of the company. Yes. And sometimes people get run short, and because of the shortage, they wind up going out of business. Correct. Well, I kept them alive. And then one day, about eight years ago, my son came to me and said, Dad, he said, you know what? We're a crazy family. We belong on TV. <laughs> That's I true. Said, you know, instead of talking about it, go make it happen. So they went to a producer and director. They went to Animal Planet. Animal Planet gave them $25,000 to shoot the pilot. They loved the pilot, and the rest is history. So, well, so what made this into a show uh, of what you do? Animal Planet, I think of animals, and I think of a planet, probably totally out of concept. But what is the, what is the, the gap between all this that I don't know? Well, the reality is, is, is that we... Basically, manufacture aquariums and in aquariums and yes. water, you have fish. So, so that's the, the animal part of it. Is basically what happened. So, because you build, you've been in business building aquariums tanks for twenty years. Aquarium for twenty years. What is the biggest one you've you've actually built? The biggest one we did was Ibach, which was in Texas. It was a church in Texas. It took two and a half years to build, and they built a church around the tank. The tank. A big. It was huge. Huge. I probably can't remember the diameter of it, but it was no, huge. No, it was huge. Huge. So that was one of your achievements. I mean, you you were actually, this gentleman, Owen, is from New York. That's correct. And if I'm not mistaken, you used to walk the beat. That is awesome. Which correct. is a policeman. So what I'm, I guess the message I'm giving out there is that you can, can, can become anything you want to become. And I think if you work hard, that's what happens. You well, worked very hard. I, actually, I didn't. Actually, oh, I worked, my grandfather, may he rest in peace, he said, you know what, son? He said, work hard. I said, you know what, Grandpa? Work smart. And but I they're still working hard. No, no, no. There's a big difference. You've got to use the brain all feel, the time. Feel my hands. Well, I know. Oh, well, no, there's uh, labor work and there's brain work. And I'm the brain work and you're the brain work. I don't really use I'd my rather, hands. I'd rather use I don't brain. even want to clean. I'd, I'd rather use brain power than so, manual power. Manual power, no. I think brain power is the best. But you still have to work at that. My husband was the same way. He could add up figures in two seconds flat. He was a mathematician. Incredible. And, and my his son said, I want to buy your computer so you can have it for the, you know. He said, the time you turn the thing on, I've got the whole thing worked out. It's like you. Same, same as you. So, achieving all this, how's your life now? How, how is your, I, I know your wife passed away. His wife passed away and he's been actually quite devastated with that. Th that's correct. That you was the worst thing that ever happened to me. I was married for 30 years. I didn't have five disagreements, not arguments, five disagreements in 30 years. Do you know, it's the same as mine, except my marriage was 29 years and we had five arguments, but they were just, I don't know, they weren't really big arguments, they were arguments. But we had a great... Oh, you, have, you had the same as what I had. That's correct. And my husband passed away 2004. Your wife passed away? My, 2001. 2001, just before mine. See what happens? So, yeah, I know that was a big dis disappointment for you, but you also had some wonderful times with her. Oh, and, and we had so, unbelievable times. Yes. Okay. Unbelievable times. You know, I have memories that go back 30 years. Yes. And even when I met her, 
Okay, I met her. I was in New York City. But you policeman. knew you were going to marry her when you the first. Oh time yeah, you the met first her. time I met her Isn't in Coney amazing? Island when I was a New York City policeman, and she marched across. She double parked the car on the other side of the street. She marched across the street, and she said, "Do you know any single policemen?" I says, "Thank you, God." <laughs> well, she went home and she told her mother. She told her mother, "I met the man I'm going to marry." Now the strange thing is, but is, you did the same thing. Yeah, my daughter. No, my daughter and my son-in-law. My son-in-law came to quote me when I moved out here. Between 1994 and 96, I was building a large home. And between my theater room and my dining room, I wanted to put an aquarium. So I called up a company called Ampro. They sent down Wade. Wade came down, looked at the area. He sees a picture of my daughter hanging on the wall. He says, I'm going to marry your daughter. And two years see later... What, see, you never know what's going to happen. So they got married? They got married. Are they still married? 20 years. 20, and they're happy? Very. How many children? Two. Two grandchildren you have there. And what, so that's your daughter. What about your son? He's My son has two children also. Has Bryce is 11 and Kayla is 20. Yes. And then I have a daughter in New York that has one. Uh, <clears throat> that's uh, Brandon. And he is uh, 17. Uh, going to college. And my son Paul is still wandering around the desert. You know, looking He's for something. He's still waiting for something. <laughs> he can't find any fish in the desert, that's for sure. <laughs> so I don't know what he's looking for. So now Erwin, uh, you've done all this and you've, you've had the family. You've worked in the streets, you've been prosperous, you've got a reality show. What do you have in store for yourself now well, as a young man? I'm You're still a young man. Basically, I'm still searching for the woman that I would like to spend the rest of my life with. And it's been very difficult because the women that are out there are very difficult because of the things that they've gone through with other men or other situations. And you're and talking about Vegas. I'm from, now I'm from Las Vegas, that's correct. Yeah, so you're talking about Vegas. It's very hard, I think, to find a man in Vegas and also to find a woman. Um, it's, it's a very different place for dating, I think. I personally don't date. Um, maybe once in a blue moon, maybe, maybe it happened. I don't know. But I have the same problem as you have. I'm just like, I don't know. So that's your next challenge. Well, I've been on so dating. So you women out there. I've been on dating sites. Oh. The dating sites that I've been on are even I mean, worse. <laughs> are, I mean, people put pictures on that are 20 years old. I mean, just a couple of simple ones where uh, one woman uh, said to me, what's your political preference? I said, I don't have one. Click. One woman turns around and says to me, she said, look, she said, you wrote down, you want to take a walk, walk on the beach, okay, you know, and hold hands. The nearest, she calls me, she says, the nearest beach is 295 miles away. She's right. <laughs> but I said, is that the way you want to start the relationship? And one woman was So she's con contradicting you. One woman, I, I, after a while, it's That's categories. Funny. You want to be between 50 and 60, 40 and 50, whatever you want. But I said to her, she said 59. I said, she looked older. I said, you know, are you 59? She says, none of your business. So you knew she wasn't 59. Very good. <laughs> well, if you ask me how old I am, I'm 39 and holding. I'm just kind of holding a long time. Jack Benny's sister. Off. That's, uh, yeah, I'm Jack Benny's sister. I'm holding a long time, but that's okay. I mean, I, I, who cares, you know? I, I think age is just a number. I'm not particularly looking for anybody. I'm not really out there. I'm very, very busy. Um, I know you're very, very busy. So, But I, I think, you know, you, you'll find someone out Eventually. there. Eventually. I know you will. I know you. I have faith in you because you've, you've succeeded in everything else. I mean, why not that? Um, what is your greatest thing you would, uh, message you would like to give um, which is a great place in my heart, is the younger generation. Well, all I can say is I'm in the process of writing my life story. Oh, wonderful. And the reality is, is that I came from a divorced home as a young boy. And I feel this way, that if I could do it, so can everybody else. Oh, everybody. But also to have faith in yourself, trust in yourself, and love yourself. Oh, when you've been an inspiration. Thank you. Oh, I love him, Mama. He's such a great guy. Oh, I get a hand kiss. Isn't he lovely? Don't forget he's single. <laughs> we'll be right back with another guest. Take care.